बहुमान्य गतागत वकूफ मंत्री श्री एंटनी राजू बहुमान्य वट्टी युरकाव नियम सभा अंगम श्री वी के प्रशांत श्री दीपू रवि चीफ एडिटर केरला कॉमेडी श्री एस विक्रम यूनिट चीफ प्रिय सहोदरी सहोदरन मारे एलावर कमेंडे वंदना आई एम डिलाइटेड टू बी हियर इन रिस्पांस टू योर इनविटेशन टू प्रेजेंट द केरला कॉमेडी एक्सीलेंस अवार्ड्स first of all my hearty congratulations to all the winners of today's award and they deserve they eminently deserve this award because the details which we saw about them they all are doing wonderful distinctive work in their chosen fields it is gratifying to see the wide variety in the areas served by the recipients of today's awards those whom we have honored have made significant contribution in areas like medicine traditional medicine eye care heart care pharmaceuticals administration business travel solutions traditional artistry philanthropy and of course literature i compliment kerala comedy for instituting these awards to recognize and appreciate the sterling performance of individuals in their areas of work celebrating the success of others motivates you for your own success watching someone else give it their all and make or exceed their goals is energizing and inspiring their success is a testament to us that we can fulfill our dreams too the award winners come from different backgrounds but i am confident that if an inquiry is made as to their work culture it will not they will not be very different from each other there is a beautiful sanskrit words which says nishchitva या फिर किरमते नांतर वसती कर्मना अवंध्या कालो वश्या आत्मा सावे पंडिता उच्चते हुज एंडेवर्स आर प्रिसीडेड बाय ए फर्म कमिटमेंट हु डज नॉट टेक लॉन्ग रेस बिफोर द टास्क इज एकम्पलिश्ड हु डज नॉट वेस्ट टाइम एंड हु हैज कंट्रोल over his mind his desires is wise and is bound to succeed it is said that when you are good at something you will tell everybody but when you are great at something they will tell you i am happy that today it is a leading newspaper that has taken the initiative not only to tell the successful people about their excellence but to celebrate their stories it is a great gesture since the mandate of a newspaper goes beyond dissemination of news to encourage laudable social accomplishments i am informed that ever since its founding in 1911 first as a weekly for three decades before independence and later as newspaper kerala comedy has been a forceful 
and ardent voice against unfair social and political practices. Founded by Shri C. V. Kunni Raman, an orator, literateur, and free thinker, Kerala comedy had earned credibility as a publication that encouraged social discussions. The enterprise and forethought of the famous editor Padma Bhushan K. Sukumaran enabled it to evolve into a daily that upholds the philosophy of Shri Narayan Guru by adopting his Mahakavya Uru Oru Jati, Oru Matam, Oru Devam Manushya, and lending powerful voice to the concerns of the less privileged. I understand that the Malayalam word for editor is Patradhipar, that relates to Shri Sukumaran's memory in recognition of his efforts to pursue objective and credible journalism in Kerala. The literal meaning of Kerala Komudi is Kerala's moonlight. Maybe the founders wanted the paper to shine like full moon over the entire state. I am happy that over the years Kerala Komudi has diversified and expanded into a multitude of media platforms including television and digital versions. The present youthful management team led by Shri Deepu Ravi deserves credit for this growth as well as the decision to recognize excellence in areas around them. Noticing excellence around us in itself is a sign of striving for excellence. We know that excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere efforts and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of alternatives, choice, but not chance, determines the destiny. There is a story of a musician who received a standing ovation after a performance. Then a lady approached him and said in a congratulatory note, I would give my life for such an excellent performance. To this, the musician said with a smile, Madam, indeed, I gave my life, whole life for it. That is the dedication that true excellence demands. Recognition of excellence by a notable newspaper amounts to recognition by the civil society whose views the papers are always very sensitive to the views of, the, of their readers. An award for excellence is not merely the recognition of the good performance in one's chosen field. It is also the acknowledgement of a constitutional obligation well performed. This is because for every Indian, the pursuit of excellence is a constitutional obligation as well as a scriptural direction to do one's work in an excellent manner as we see in one of our great scripture, Bhagavad Gita, which stresses that yoga karmasu kaushalam. Yoga is nothing but excellence in action. As we appreciate the success of the awardees, we are also reminded of how they have prospered through industry 
as Sri Narayan Guru had advised, the word for industry, Veva Siam, also means hard work. The selfless work that Sri Narayan Guru preached itself is a clear that the selfless work that Sri Narayan Guru himself did is a clear instance of excellence in action. I recall what French writer Roman Roland said of Sri Narayan Guru. He described him as a Gyan Yogi, that is, a grand religious intellectual who had a keen living sense of the people and of social necessities. Guru's action, actuated by his knowledge of people's needs and compassion towards all, resulted in the social, intellectual and spiritual elevation of the oppressed classes. The work of Guru reminds us of a, of a, of a promise made again in Bhagavad Gita, where Lord tells Arjun that people look at me as a role model. And if by any chance I stop working, then a great disaster would happen. Partha na eva iha na amutra vinasha tasya viddate Nahi Kalyan Krit Kaschit Durgatim Tat Kachati. He tells Arjun that either in this world or in the hereafter, no grief will ever come to a person who pursues actions which are beneficial to others. Kalyan Kirt, something which benefits, which is done to benefit all the people. Here lies the importance of doing work for public welfare, that is Lok Kalyan. I mentioned the idea of public welfare to assert that each individual who strives to attain excellence is generally aware that once you attain excellence, it can be a great source to serve people more effectively. True leadership matters not only to provide a sense of direction, but the real test of the leadership is if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, become more, then you are a leader. And people, the, not only the award winners, of course, they have their excellencies acknowledged and recognized, but even others who are sitting in this hall, they are people who are considered successful. And the general public psyche is, human psyche is, that people try to imitate those who are successful, whom they consider, they, these people are considered by the common man as their role models. They, they recite stories about them to their children to inspire them. And there, what I had referred to earlier, that your role becomes very important. You, have, you are trained setters. You are a source of inspiration. Therefore, it is absolutely essential that we keep, but I'm, I'm talking of those who are in leadership position, who are viewed as role model, as successful people. They have a duty to pursue that path so that they can inspire people more and more. It would not be out of place here to dwell on the philosophy of work that an award of this nature suggests. 
Swami Vivekananda had reminded us that those who achieve are not achievers, but debtors to the world, which does not owe them anything. He said, it's a great privilege for all of us to be allowed to do anything for the world. In helping the world, we really help ourselves. Swamiji's view was that we have to be karma yogis. The word karma comes from Sanskrit kiri, to do, which means to do. All action is karma. As karma, karma yogi would first of all feel from the heart for others. Then one will develop pre practical solutions to the problems and cultivate the courage and steadfastness to implement actions for general welfare. My best wishes for all winners of today's awards to feel from the heart and contribute more for the welfare of humanity. My best wishes also to Team Kerala Komudi and its leaders. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Valre Nanni Jai Hind.